All right, so this video is going to be on your moon sign. What is the moon um, defined as in your zodiac chart? So the moon is considered your hidden energy, your hidden emotions, how you um, analyze your emotions within yourself mentally. Also, it can be your relationship with your mother or a motherly figure in your life. If you were adopted or you didn't have a motherly figure in your life, it could be just some one in your life that has a feminine energy more than a masculine. All right, so I'm going to give the definition of each moon off of this website. And then I'm going to tell my own personal opinion on each moon and what I think and do I agree with everything that I'm reading. So we're going to start from Aries to Pisces, like always. So Aries. The feeling of uncertainty can make you solve problems faster than others in nature. Do not rush as if there was a deadline. Try to slow down so that you can decide what you want to do and proceed at your own comfort pace. So what do I get from that? For that moon sign. I have noticed like celebrities and stuff. The moon. Your safety depends on stability, which is not easy to satisfy. You may have a practical nature depending on your material aspects of life. You have to learn to accept change as part of your life. Otherwise, complications can occur. Change is called by other people that you love, illness, and so on. So I feel like, in my personal opinion, Taurus Moon is one of the best placements for the moon to be in because it brings this stable stability in your emotions. The only thing that... um. I can see being an issue for Taurus Moon is trying to, like I said, right here, you have to learn to accept change as part of your life. So maybe you might idealize your partner or you might have this idea about a person or a partner that you can't let go of, like you just can't, you're like in disbelief of, and you might hold on to that narrative of that person for too long to where it won't bring a change into your life. Or change into that emotional relationship. Gemini moon. And Gemini manifests itself by the needs for changes and spontaneity. And safety lies in thinking about your feelings and sharing them with others. You can be talkative and you seek, you speak skillfully and with ease. This ability can be used in literature, journalism, or in counseling. So um, I kind of agree with what this is saying about Gemini moons. I met a few Gemini moons, and they do speak um, about their emotions and what they're feeling. They try to share every emotion they're feeling. They don't try to keep much in to analyze much of. That can make them become gossipy, gossipy and stuff. And then... This ability, you can be used in journalism and counseling. Okay. Cancer moon, safety for people with moon and cancer is their home, family, and related activities such as cooking, cooking, and DIY. Other people can be attracted by your home loving character. Your action allows you to be a good parent and a supportive friend. So I agree with everything you said about cancer moon since it is the house I mean, since it is home to the moon. Um, also, I want to just add that it could also mean that you have a good relationship with your motherly figure or motherly women in your life. Or you just have a good, like, if you're a masculine, you could have a good relationship with women around you. Also, if you're a female, you can have a good relationship with the feminine energies around you, your mother, or just females around you. You feel safety in the moment. You feel safe in the moments when you can impress others and get praise and imagine by others. Yet when you get into the spotlight, you may find yourself at loss. At a loss, you probably have a desire for money and social status and have a strong ability to get it. So, I guess that's what it is for the moon in Leo, but since it's fire, I feel like that's not the best placement for a moon, especially if you yourself want to build a relationship with someone. 
with their moon sign. The best placements for a moon sign will be earth and water. A fire sign moon most likely can get over you quicker than a water and an earth moon would. But if you had to choose out of all three fire signs, I'll think like being with the Aries moon first and then Leo moon or Sagittarius moon next. Okay, so Virgo, your feelings of safety is ready to order and clarity. Even in emotions, you may have the need to organize everything chaotic and disorganized. Try being more tolerant and accepting of imperfections of your life. For me, I'm a Virgo moon, and I can accept imperfections of my life. It's just the being reminded constantly of the imperfections that get me. I don't like that. Like, don't constantly remind me of my imperfections because I'm going to do the organization in my mind of your imperfections and I'm going to tell you about your imperfections as well. That's toxic but we're going to look at each other's imperfections and fix them because you're not going to keep trying to put my imperfections down like yours is not like yours is just wiped away. No. Okay. Persons with moon and Libra is looking for safety in a relationship has the need to make somebody happy and wants to have a rich social life however little However, later they must find themselves in things that satisfy them must prevail. They also have a strong need for balance and harmony. I guess that's all you can say about Libra Moon. But like I said earlier, if you want to find a stable relationship, I think. You bet your best bet is going with a water moon or an earth moon. And probably just that. Scorpio moon and Scorpio creates the need to and to delve into their feelings as deep as possible. And this brings great vulnerability. You never forget anything that was done to you. It's hard to force you to do anything. That's why I feel like Scorpios are one of the best relationship. Um, Scorpio moons is one of the best romantic wise. Cause from my like gathering of seeing Scorpio moons, um, like looking at people's moons and stuff, they seem like the most loyal, one of the most loyal moons to be with. Like they'll be with you long term. So them knowing like they can become vulnerable from diving deep into their emotions and trying to understand their emotions that just alone brings prosperity within life in general I feel like because now you understand what you are emotionally feeling to where you're going within yourself you're not like looking for outwards outlets to help you figure you out you're figuring your own self out so it bring it brings a new foundation within you so that might mean that the Scorpio moon will be more like stable within the relationships where they're not over stepping in their space or like over needy of their partner, they can go within them and like figure something out for them. But you never know, it's a different strokes for different folks. Okay, Sagittarius Moon, the greatest need is to always search for something. In order to feel safe, you need a have a goal or a mission that gives your life meaning. Your faith must be... Okay, so what I got from that is... This is off of a website, so, you know, I'm. this is my first time reading it, so it's not really making sense. But what I'm getting is, when I look at people's charts, Sagittarius moons seem like the most ones that are known for being cheaters. Because, like it just said, they're, they're looking, their greatest need is to search for something. So they're always probably searching for something in another person or in another life in another dimension i don't know but they're just always searching for something that maybe their person does not have or is lacking in also with their moon being inside serious they might not like a scorpio be able to go in and be vulnerable about what they're feeling they might try to find things in outlets so that could lead to cheating or it could even lead to joys traveling running from things that almost like that scarred you in the past or just 
that wasn't good for you, Sakorn. You say you see safety and being useful to the society, and you look for justification in the outside world. You may underestimate what you want from yourself and for yourself. Shyness may be upset. What's that word? By resentment of the fact that others ignore you. Mm. So I have met um, Capricorn Moon, and he did seem shy to me. So I kind of agree with that. But that um, need and accepting from the outside world may underestimate what you want from yourself and for yourself. So like possibly old religions or belief systems can make you become someone you're not and then you just be living your life and then you finally like awaken to a reality that this was not what you wanted but you kept following your religious beliefs or what was told of you to be and to follow. But the Capricorn moon that I met, he didn't seem like he was following religious beliefs much. He seemed like he was not letting limitations take the best of him or letting religious beliefs be of him much. I mean, I used to ask him about marriage and stuff. He said he wanted to marry a female and take care of her and stuff like that, like his religious background. But he didn't really seem like that for real to me. Like, he didn't seem like that's what he really wanted. But I wouldn't know, because I never, he never really said so. But, anyways. Aquarius Moon, your relationship with your with your emotions can be complicated. You want to free yourself from negative emotions such as fear, anger, and jealousy, but it can lead to the fact that others will expect you to be incredibly tolerant when they display such as such emotions. So my um my moon falls into the eleventh house, and I feel like this is true towards me because. I used to be very positive as much as I could be with people. And now I'm seeing that me not regulating those emotions is leading to me having a fear and anger and feeling of jealousy. Because people just want that energy from you. That's what it seems. But, um, yeah, like... Like a Virgo, I feel like a Aquarius and a Virgo moon would be good together because they need to like analyze the emotions that they're feeling. Like they sometimes cannot see the emotions that they're feeling in an emotional way. They might see them in a more robotic way and people don't like that. But hey now, you're a, okay. Moon and Pisces has the greatest sensitivity and perspective of surroundings the person can experience feelings of insecurity be possessive and only wait and see what happens in his or his or her life if you engage in creative or spiritual search you can become an artist or a mis uh, mystic with great imagination so just like capricorn i guess in a sense like letting life pass you by too much that you forget that this is your life and you need to live your own life. Oh, my home. Oh, my home. Oh, my home.